Hello children, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You're welcome to our online lessons and we are going to begin from where we stopped last time. Uh, in the previous lesson we, uh, we were looking at division of whole numbers and we, we basically used a long division method. So I kindly beg not to go back there. I gave you some numbers. I know you did them well. I'll call for those books and mark them. Then we shall uh, get our corrections later. So um, today we are going to look at more about division. And this is division of whole numbers using another method. And that is none other than uh, repeated subtraction. So how do we divide numbers using repeated subtraction? And this is giving you a chance. If we looked at long division, and maybe it is not uh, very clear for you, maybe you have problems. So we are coming up with another method such that if maybe a question comes and is open, say divide 20 by this, you will choose which method to use unless that question is specific and say, use long division to divide. Use repeated subtraction to divide. But if it is just open and say, divide this by this, you are free to use any method. So today, uh, we are going to look at the method of uh, division using repeated subtraction. How do we use repeated subtraction to divide numbers? So we are going to say uh, divide 15 by 3 using, so we shall have such questions repeated. Using repeated subtraction. We shall have such questions. Divide uh, 15 by 3 using repeated subtraction. Now, as you hear this word, repeated subtraction, we subtract repeatedly up to where? Up to when we get 0. And how do we subtract? If we have 15, Divide by 3. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. So what do we do? We subtract the divisor from the dividend until we get 0. So we keep subtracting the divisor from the dividend. As we count the number of times we have subtracted. So let's move. What is 15 divided by 3 using repeated subtraction? We are going to have 15 take away 3. 15 minus 3 and we get the answer. So what is 15 take away 3? 15 take away 3 is 12. So you count this is your first time of subtraction, right? Then we continue. When you get 12, don't go back to 15. You now get the answer you have got, 12, and again subtract the divisor. 12, take away 3. What shall we get? What is 12 minus 3? 12 minus 3 is 9. So after getting 9, you will come and say, this is your second time. You keep subtracting as you count the number of times, right? Yes. So when you get 9, don't again go back to 15. So you will have 9, take away 3. What is 9, take away 3? 6. And this is your third time. Then you continue. You have got 6. So you will come and say, what is 6, take away 3? So you keep subtracting the divisor just. From the answer you get, you again subtract. So uh, what is 6 take away 3? I have 6. And this is now the fourth time. 
we are counting as we subtract. So uh, we have got three, and so we are going to have three, take away three. What is three minus three? Zero. And this is the fifth time. Now, my dear children, when you get zero, this means the number is now over. So you have finished. And now, how do we get the answer? We get the answer by counting the number of times we have subtracted. That is why uh, when, I count, uh, when I subtracted in the beginning, I called it first. So this one is going to help me in counting how many times have I subtracted. So I will come here and count. One, two, three, four, five. This is fifth. So I subtracted five times. So my answer is equal to the number of times I have subtracted. Then you will come here and just say 15 divided by 3 equals to 5. Is equal to the number of times you have subtracted. That is how simple this uh, kind of method is. So after getting uh, 50, I mean 5, you come and underline. Wow, this one is very simple. I think it is simpler than the other one. What do you think? I think it is uh, very, very simple compared to the other one. So I'm giving you uh, the second example very quickly. If you have not followed here, make sure you are very, very attentive. 25 divided by 5. And we know we are using repeated subtraction. So what are we going to do? We keep subtracting the divisor from the dividend as we count the number of times. So I'm going to have 25 take away 5. What do we get? 25 minus 5 is 20. So you come and you count. That is the first time. Right? Then I move on. Now when you are subtracting the second time, don't go 25. You use the answer you have got because we want to subtract until we reach 0. So if you go back 25 again, you will never reach 0. You will keep going back. So the answer you have got is the one now you bring down here. Have 20, take away 5. What shall we get? 20 take away 5 is 15. And this is your second time. Then you move on. So we have got 15. Now we shall have 15 take away 5. What do we get? This is 10. And this is your third time. Then you move on. You have 10 now. What is 10 take away 5? This is equal to 5. And this is your fourth time. Then you go again. This is 5 take away 5. And what is 5 take away 5? 0. And this is your fifth time. So, uh, what do we have now? If we reach 0, we count the number of times we have subtracted. And so the answer is equal to the number of times we have subtracted. So we, how many times have we subtracted? Can we count together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meaning... 25 divided by 5 equals to 5 equals the number of so uh, this means uh, 25 divided by 5 is 5 so you underline there now I'm giving uh, the very very last example 12 divided by 4 and still we are using repeated subtraction so quickly I'm going to have 12 take away 4 uh, what is 12 take away 4? This is 8. And you keep counting. That is my first time. Then when I get 8, don't go back 12. You write 8 minus 4. What is 8 minus 4? This is 4. And this is my second. This is my second time. Then I write 4. The answer you get is what you subtract from down here. Now, this is 4, take away 4. 
what is 4 take away 4? Uh, this is 0. So when you reach 0, you count, that will be the last time. That is my third time. And how do we get the answer? We get the answer by counting the number of times we have subtracted. That means uh, 12 divided by 4 equals to 1, 2, 3. Equals to 3. And then you underline your work smartly. Underline your work very, very well. So uh, uh, I hope my children have learned and you have enjoyed this uh, very good lesson. So uh, we have now given you two methods. You choose, unless the question is specific and say use this method. But if it is open, just divide this by this. You can either use long division or you can subtract using repeat. I mean, you can divide using repeated subtraction. Uh, I want to stop here. I wish you well. You are going to find the work and please settle down, do it well. God bless you.